Well, howdy there, internet people. It's Belle again. So today, we're going to talk about Boeing unions and whether the unions are in a good position. If you missed the news, on Friday, a little more than 30,000 Boeing workers in the Seattle and Portland areas walked off the job. The International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers want a better contract. The union and Boeing had worked out a contract that had some concessions from the company, but the workers voted to reject it by a wide, wide margin. About 95% voted to reject it. The rejection led to the strike, which was approved by 96% of workers. The contract that was rejected would probably sound pretty good to a lot of people. It had a 25% pay increase over four years and some new benefits. So. Why did the workers reject it? Long history and experience along with recent developments. Workers wanted a 40% pay increase over four years. Before you say that sounds ridiculous, know that the union has made concessions to the company for years. Reporting says Boeing has lost money for years, but the CEO reportedly got a roughly 45% increase in pay in 2023. That's right one year to almost $33 million. That's just the icing on the cake though. The anger from the workers actually goes back to a 2011 decision by the company to open a non-union plant in South Carolina. In 2020, during the pandemic, the company prioritized the South Carolina plant. A new CEO took over just a little more than a month ago. The company has had the 737 MAX issues, the door plug issues, the Starliner issues, and financial issues. At time of recording, stock is down more than 35% so far this year. The CFO of Boeing said, quote, For Boeing, it is no secret that our business is in a difficult period, in part due to our own mistakes in the past. Working together, I know that we can get back on track but a strike would put our shared recovery in jeopardy, further eroding trust with our customers and hurting our ability to determine our future together. The shared recovery part is unlikely to resonate with workers, many of whom feel like they've been left out of the recovery and blame management. The bad PR Boeing has had lately will likely keep public sentiment with the union for quite some time. The financial situation at Boeing will increase pressure to get production back up and running, and it's probable that Boeing's main clients will want to see the strike end as soon as possible, not just for production, but for public relations. All of this is occurring at a time when labor sentiment is on the rise, and just general vibes are going to be in favor of union activity. There is rising awareness that the struggles of American labor help all workers, union or not. In short, the union has leverage. We'll continue to follow the development and see whether the union can convert their leverage into the deal they seek. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.